Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm coming at you with a really quick current favorites. I'm actually traveling and I am in Central California. I'm in the Napa Valley and I'm here kind of on a medical trip for my dad, but I am continuing this trip on to Southern California for a vacation. And um, so I have some interesting favorites. I literally packed my favorite things. And this favorites is going to be pretty succinct because of course I'm traveling, but it is the best of the best of the things I'm loving right now in July slash August and I wanna share them with you. So if you're interested in seeing my current favorites, short as it might be, then just keep on watching. So because I'm traveling to California, I've definitely been doing a little bit more exfoliating than normal. I've been, you know, upping my game a little bit. And I have a couple that I'm really, really loving, you guys. The first one is the Body Strategist Scrub. This one is from Comfort Zone, and it is Dobbinus Skincare Line. This is so great. It actually contains jojoba microspheres, fruit acids, and extracts for softer, smoother skin. You put it on, and you leave it on for a couple minutes, and you rub, and those fruit acids dissolve things. Now, I'm using this kind of back and forth with my Clarista that you guys all know that I love. The Clarista is alkaline. This is acid, and I've never ever had smoother skin. My legs, the back of my arms, smooth as a baby's butt. Love the alternating of the acids and the alkaline. Just a really great scrub. And I'm not kidding, like one time you use it and you can tell how much more smooth your skin is. I do not use this on my face. I only use it on my body. Now the one I've been using on my face, and this is an old favorite, but this is my Dermalogica, let's see if I get that, Dermalogica, Thermofoliant, multivitamin thor thermofoliant. This one heats up as you use it. It also has alpha hydroxy acids in it and it has a really, really fine grain. I use it on my face. The heat, I'm not sure, you know, they say that it's gonna open up the pores. I'm not sure I buy into any of that as an esthetician, but it feels really nice. It definitely feels nice. It has a soft scent of lavender, beautiful, but what it does is it gives you the best exfoliation ever on your face. Between this and my Clarista, I'm telling you, the skin on your face is just gorgeous. Now, I obviously use a lot of alpha hydroxy acids. I chemically exfoliate a lot. But I find that an occasional manual exfoliation just feels really good and it kind of, you know, just helps speed things along. I love this one. If you've never tried this, this is seriously probably my favorite facial exfoliator ever. I have loved this for many, many years. It's so good. Now, along with the exfoliating, I'm self-tanning because I'm off in California and I'm so white, it's really kind of scary. I picked up and have been using this quick tan. This is the Sunless Tanning Self Tan Dry Oil. This is glorious. This is so beautiful. I love it so much, you guys. So it's obviously tinted, and you can hear, you have to shake it up really well, and it is a dry oil. When I put it on, I've read some reviews and people said it was sticky. It, I guess it has a little bit of that for a few minutes, but it definitely sinks in, and then your skin just feels really hydrated, and it develops into the most beautiful, tan. The other thing that I find is it actually seems like it has kind of a smoothing effect. I used it on my arms and I genuinely thought that my arms just looked better. Like not just more tan, they looked better. And it could be because of the hydration that you get, you know, the moisturization you get from the oil, but really, really looked good. I think it smells really nice. I don't end up with that crazy DHA smell. I love this and it spreads around so easily. It's very difficult to get streaks and it doesn't really cling to dry spots because the oil helps kind of move things around. Really great self tanner. Now, the thing that I've been using on my body that I'm loving, and I can't believe I'm so late to this game, is the MAC. This is the strobe cream for your body, you guys. This is so pretty. I'm gonna put a little on my hand to see if you can even see it. it looks like this. It has a pink iridescence to it, right? Now, you can use that all by itself. I mean, look at the difference. See how beautiful that is? You can use that, obviously, all by itself. And it has a really subtle scent. It's very, very beautiful. But what I have been doing is I've actually been going in with the Vaseline. This is the Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant. I've been cocktailing the two. I've been putting a little bit of this and then maybe a little more of this, like the combo, is two-thirds this to one-third this, because this is not a very big tube. 
This tube is 3.4 ounces. I want to stretch it. This is not very expensive. So I cocktail them. It is amazing. You still get that beautiful iridescence. You get a little more moisture because I think this might be more moisturizing. Such a great combo and it really makes your body look really, really good. And so when I am not self tanning, so I don't have that dry oil to give me the moisture, that has been my go-to body moisturizer for everywhere that's exposed. I love that combo so much for makeup. So I don't have very much makeup to share with you guys because I have some things that I think are coming in the near future as favorites and I'm going to save them for then. I want to use them a little bit more. But this one, this is the Milani. This is Everyday Eyes. This particular palette, I'm blown away by the quality of these mattes. You're going to see this in a couple videos um, where I tell you that because seriously, I'm blown away. It's $10. If you guys haven't tried these Milani shadows, you got to get your hands on them. I'm wearing it today. It blends out like a dream. I'm traveling, so I'm kind of haphazard. It's amazing. It is very, they're very soft. So you do want to tap off your brush. But other than that, seriously, these are as good as any of my high-end mattes. I love it. And I love that it's $10. Just beautiful. The other thing for my eyes that I'm definitely in love with, again, is my new lash. Probably on like week three or four of back to using this. And I, you guys probably can't tell, but I can already tell a huge difference in my lashes. My lashes on this eye were like going one direction and then going the other direction. And some of them were really short. I don't know what was going on. I was going through something like a shed with this eye particularly. This eye wasn't so bad. This eye, terrible. Started using this about four or five weeks ago. It's probably been, and I've used it before. So I know that it works, but I'm starting to really begin to see the fruits of my labor of using this every single day. My lashes are definitely at least back to what they should be and maybe a little bit longer and they're on their way. Crazy lashes are on their way because this stuff works like a charm. So this is definitely a favorite because I feel like I'm sort of getting my eyelashes back, which if any of you have ever been like, you know, had something happen to your eyelashes, you know, your whole eye look doesn't look great if you don't have decent eyelashes. And so I love this new lash so much. Hair. So you guys all know that I'm loving the Olaplex, the shampoo and conditioner. On this trip, I actually had TSA throw away my Olaplex. I was stupid and I had it walking through security. I'm not really sure why I had it in my toiletry bag that I always carry on because I'm afraid to lose my toiletries. You can throw away my whole suitcase, but if I lose my toiletries, I swear I'm, it's not good. So when I got somewhere where I could get some shampoo and conditioner, I'm going to pick these up. Now I've used these before, but I got the travel size. And I was reminded how much I love this one in particular. This is by that OGX Organics or whatever. Uh, I, can't, I think it's Organics, but it's OGX. You find these in the grocery store. You find them at Target. They're like $6. I got the travel size. These were like 3 bucks. And this is the Argan Oil of Morocco Shampoo and Conditioner. Holy moly, this, I'm going back to this. When I get home, I'm gonna alternate this all the time with my Olaplex. It leaves my hair so silky and soft and takes down the frizz. It smells amazing. You can tell when you put the shampoo in, it has a ton of slip. Same with the conditioner. Seriously, I can't believe I ever put this away. I don't know what happened, you know, I'm a junkie. But seriously loving that shampoo and conditioner. The other thing for hair, and I have Dawn from Dawn's Life Over 40 to thank for this, and my friend Toby. Those two people really, uh, told me about this one, but this is the Sun Bum. This is the leave-in conditioner from Sun Bum. And as a hairstylist, I really was kind of skeptical about this. I'm like, really, a tanning, a self, or a, you know, sunscreen company is going to come out with a hair product that's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. If you have extensions or if you have dry hair, if you have coarse hair, no joke. This is one of the best leave-in conditioners ever. I mean, honestly, all I've been using this trip is that shampoo and conditioner from OGX and this and my hair feels amazing. It feels like silk you guys and I, I just really really love it. Now I will say with that shampoo and conditioner if you have fine hair it's going to be too much for you so definitely avoid it like the plague but if you have thick hair, coarse hair, you know damaged hair try that shampoo and conditioner and give this one a shot. I got this one at Ulta and I think it was like $15. You don't need a ton in your hair you put it in wet it's amazing. It's an amazing detangler. It leaves your hair soft. Be careful of the floor. The spray goes everywhere. You could slip and fall on your popo. So I put a towel down and then spray and I am loving this so much. So that 
is all of my favorites. I have tons of makeup favorites coming your way, you guys, but I really want to put them to the test just a little bit more. I want to speak to them a little bit better. But these things were things that I was like, oh my gosh, serious favorites for sure. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for your patience and putting up with this kind of makeshift bathroom lighting in a hotel. And I hope you guys have a great week and I will talk to you again very, very soon.